Peppermint Lifesavers taste like Sundays. So does cigar smoke and the sound of a baseball game on the TV, wafting from whatever room your uncle's in. All is safe and still and peaceful and quiet. It is Sunday. Babies take naps and women take an extra long time to clear the table and do the dishes. It was never about getting them done. It was always about the time spent doing them. Somebody has to drive grandma home. The first stark illusion shattering reality that threatens the soft lens insulation known as the Sunday bubble. Still, there was dessert to be had and pipes to be smoked and a quiet dream shared between a father and his father of a son about trips to Canada or small businesses started or deer seen along the road in other years on other Sundays. A neighbor comes calling, embarrassed for bumping into the Sunday bubble. They know they are welcome but also no, they are not. It is not unkind, it is just unspoken. An unspoken universal language of love and understanding between families and people and time. Dessert is served, someone is cranky, it's almost time to go bubble is thinning. Perhaps a final story about fishing days of glory. A promise to go shopping before Christmas without stopping. Laughter, yawns, I want to go home. The Sunday bubble erupts with a silent pop so loud it is like the tunnel of dying. I'll go for the ride home to drop grandma off. My dad will help preserve the bubble. He keeps a piece in the pocket of his heart. Always. Always. I help with the bags. Dusk is dawning. I sit in the back seat, aggravating my uncle or, or staring out the window. Inside a time that will not last forever, but will forever last. Grandma offers me a mint, or a cookie, or a peppermint lifesaver. It has to be a peppermint lifesaver. After all, it is Sunday.